my name is Emily. Welcome to my bedroom. Woo! 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 So I could like tell you more about me, introduce myself, tell you why I'm making YouTube videos, but honestly, I don't really know. I just kind of woke up today, I was like, I'm 16, it's summer, why not? And today we're going to be talking about general anxiety disorder. Just going to jump right in with the deep stuff. What is general anxiety disorder? Give me uno momento. Generalized anxiety disorder is a mental health condition in which a person is often worried or anxious about many things and finds it hard to control this anxiety. Thank you. As you probably have already guessed, I have been diagnosed with general anxiety disorder as well as many other people. It's not that uncommon. No one should be embarrassed about. It's something that's often misunderstood and provided that you have the right support. General anxiety is something that gets easier within your everyday life to cope with. Personally, I have social anxiety. It's, it's different for everybody, and I don't know if that's like a specific category. I'm, please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I'll, I'll talk about my experience. I have social anxiety. And what happens is um, a lot of times I feel, I tend to change myself to be more accepted into people's worlds. It got to the point where one day I woke up and I realized I was so unhappy with everything I had become. And it's because I wasn't me. And so I kind of stripped down to the basics. I said, I'm going to find who I am and go from there. And that's what you have to do. So you don't have to, but that's what I had to do for myself. <laughs> this is stressful. <sighs> Wording this is harder than I expected. It can bleed into compulsive lying, which is not okay and I've learned that the hard way, that that's not an okay thing. I would do things such as tell white lies to think that people would like me more, make up stories for, so people would portray me in a way that I wanted them to, and I never thought I was hurting anybody, but one day it all caught up with me, and I realized that it wasn't okay, and that's the day I decided I really needed to make a change. So, <laughs> it's a light conversation on the channel. We're starting it off with something light. Um. You have to find an outlet, really, and the biggest, the biggest part of overcoming general anxiety disorder is telling yourself it's gonna be okay and surrounding yourself with people that accept you for who you are. I have an amazing support system. I was involved with people that made me miserable, and I, I allowed that to happen. But the good, your good friends, they're always there. No matter what, you're gonna have somebody out there that understands, and you're never alone. You should never feel trapped. <laughs> I'm really emotional about this and I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Not the first video. This is a lot deeper than I expected, honestly. Woo! Ma, ma. How I overcame general anxiety disorder, I'm on Prozac. So that's a, that's the first little thing. The first, what really helps is when you realize that you have it. You have to tell yourself, I know I have this. I want to change. You have to want to change. And I wanted to change. I was at the point in my life I wasn't happy. And so, this is what I did. I realized how it was negatively affecting me. My mom has been incredibly supportive. I would speak to her about it. And then I opened up to friends. I had apologized for things that I had done that I regretted. I apologized for things that were just not me. And now I'm glad to say I'm at a point in my life where I'm extremely happy. I'm the happiest I've ever been. And I'm so thankful for that. And it's honestly because I have a best friend and he's great. And I have, <sighs> I just wanted to thank you. You can do. Number one, please talk to someone. It is a very common thing. You're not a freak. You're not weird. Just reach out, take their hand and say, help me help myself. Two, Start making little changes. Respect other people's opinions and respect other people's values and beliefs, but don't let that change what you think. Don't let that change what you know is right, but do not be judgmental, ever. Because that's only fuel for hatred and that's never a good thing. I don't remember what number we're on. Um, open up. 
And it'll be hard at first to one person, and to more, and to more. And then you can get to the point where you can just talk to anybody about it. Like, I'm talking to a camera about it. And honestly, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this for attention. I'm just, I want to try and attempt to make some good out of the bad that I've experienced. So I'm, I'm sorry if this is really awkward. I'm sorry. I may take this down. I don't know. General anxiety disorder. And it, it hurts. It does. With the help of others, and you are strong enough to overcome this. And don't let anybody else tell you anything other than that. There are people in this world that are very hateful and feed off of the need to hurt others. And they'll try to hurt you. And they'll try to change you. And they'll try to make you someone you're not. And don't let them, because that's exactly what they want, and you're better than that. So, this has been a really cheesy video, and I hope I helped, and it's something really, like, I don't know, deep that I kind of just dove into on the first video. Um, there will be more about other stuff, I'm sure. It's not all going to be this scary. I'm probably going to make adventure videos and, like, DIYs. They're not all going to be really serious, but... I just, today, I was really passionate about this and I just wanted to open up. Thank you all, because chances are, if you're watching this, you've made an impact in my life. And if I don't know you, then hi. Um, my name's Emily. I feel, I can't even begin to say how much, how grateful I am for the support and love I have been provided with. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to make more videos that aren't so sad, I promise. I just wanted to get this off my chest let you know why I'm here. Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm here to help you. And I'm here to better myself, and we're in this together. That was very cheesy, okay.